All right, everybody. We got Troy here. Um, obviously, we have people joining us on Zoom as well as uh, a few here in person. So what I'll do is for the people here in person, we'll take some questions here first. Just raise your hand. I'll moderate and then I'll uh, kick it to Josh when we're ready to go to the Zoom. So if anybody has a question, uh, let me know. Jennifer has one. Troy, just kind of your emotions on how good it feels to get this guy and what he's going to do for this organization and how certain he was the one for you. How early on was he? Uh, <clears throat> we're excited. Um, great night for the Pistons. Um, yes, I mean, we're thrilled that uh, we landed okay and excited about him joining the Piston family. Um, we vetted this process out. He was always one of the top guys uh, we looked at. Um, but he, versatility brings the leadership, connectability, which really separated him. Um, you look at our team, um, he's a human connector um, on the floor, off the floor. Um, so along with his, you know, advanced skill set and uh, winning basketball that he plays and has always played, um, landing on him was, was tremendous uh, honor for us to be able to bring in uh, su such a young accomplished player. So we're excited and uh, look forward to him uh, getting here and get started. Brad, Nolan, you talked to the other day, you said they all fit basically, but when you got a guy who's six eight and brings the versatility at both ends, does he kind of make roster building a little bit easier going forward? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I guess the first thing I say is versatility. Um, he can play, he can allow you to play up, he can allow you to play down. <laughs> You can play him in the back court. You can play him in the front court, uh, but he just gives your roster so much flexibility. So, uh, absolutely, that was uh, huge uh, in the decision making process, and huge for the way the coaches will be able to use him. All right, well, well, you had said that um, you were betting all options, of course, and all rumors were out there. Jalen Green, Evan Mobley. Did you ever get closer and a, a fairly tempting offer to move from anybody? No, not really. No. And what you did, so you were, when were you 100% set on the cake? In the game? This morning. <laughs> Brian, one of the things I'm talking about, like media speculation generally, and I know you probably pay no attention to that, but one of the issues that people have raised is how he would fit next to Killian. And I know Dwayne loves the idea of maybe playing multiple bomb landers. Do you see a cake? Cunningham Killian matchup as advantageous as opposed to problematic? Yeah, I mean, like I continue to say, like, we won 20 games. <laughs> There's a lot of things that we need to vet out and getting this guy, like, he and Killian can play together. He can he can play with any of our players. So that was a big uh, part of uh, selecting this young man. He gives us tremendous versatility, but you no, know, we need multiple. Uh, ball handlers and playmakers, and um, he definitely uh, is at the top of the charts where someone can, you know, make plays. So that will only enhance uh, what Killian can do. Brad, for most of us interactions with you have been through a computer screen, watching you walk in here, you have a big smile on your face. Is this the, the cool end of you punching walls with excitement behind closed doors that we didn't see just now? I mean, I, how fired up were you to make this pick tonight? I, 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 I thought I was going to get a standing ovation from you guys when I walked in. You, everybody picked them. I finally got to say it tonight, so it's a little anticlimactic, but no, excited. No, I was really excited uh, for the organization, for the city, um, you know, for us to have this number one pick. And I just wanted to make sure um, we did our job and did our work, you know, to uh, land on number one. Um, you know, people saying the pressure of it. Uh, the pressure of it for me was doing the work. You know, you do the work and you land when you land. So we did our work and it took us a while to get there, but we're here and we're excited. So, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm thrilled, but it's no uh, punching the wall or anything like that. We're excited. Benny, Troy, throughout your history, you've been enamored with athletes. You know, Russ, 
to, you know, guys on down. Cade is not an exceptional athlete. Was that something you had to get over? Was there something about his game that made you feel like he could compensate for what he might lack at this level as the athleticism gets better? Well, yeah, I mean, I always love athletes. I, I believe that superior athletes translate in any sport, whether it's on baseball field, football field, basketball court, tennis court, you know, elite athletes excel. Um, but for me, it's where um, your team is uh, and what we're trying to build um, a big part of um, selecting, you know, Westbrook and OKC was he had the mentality and he was a spirited worker like Durant and Jeff Green were. And we got some young guys here that really work. And we want, like I said, we want to double down. We wanted guys that were going to come in here and work and continue to bleed into our ethos of working hard and uh, playing together, being selfless, being competitive. And he has a tremendous competitive spirit, um, but he's very intelligent uh, on the floor. And like I said, the, the leadership, um, the versatility and the connectability uh, put him over the top. So uh, some things, sometimes those might outweigh um, some other intangibles, but um, definitely uh, he brings a lot to the table. Was that ever a concern when you were going through the vetting process? Yeah, I mean, you 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 know you look at uh, the way a guy plays and his mindset, um, but you know, different guys have different deficiencies. He's been an elite player um, at all levels, and I I think he'll continue that because of his sharp mind. Um, Larry Bird. Um, one of my favorite players of all time. Um, this probably be blasphemous for saying this in Michigan, but if um, I tell this story all the time that I grew up in the same neighborhood as Lynn Bias, and if Lynn Bias, when it tragically passed away, Larry Bird is ahead of magic because he's gonna have those rings. I, I thought Larry Bird, to me, I struggle with putting the top five all the time together without Larry Bird being on it. He had as sharp as mind as you can see and that I've seen in this Cunningham, his mind allows him to play faster and see and feel things even if he's not a superior athlete. So um, that, that was really uh, a sticking point. Trey, you mentioned the pressure you were under, maybe or whatever. What about the pressure that he's got now? And what about him makes you think he's able to handle the, the number one pick and everything that comes, comes with that? Yeah, I mean, he's demonstrated he can handle it. He handled it at Oklahoma State this year. Um, you know, the fact that when they got word that uh, they may not be in the tournament, uh, he still stuck it out. He went there. Uh, perform. They, uh, the NCAA passed it. They could play in a tournament, but uh, the pressure he was under this year, not going to a bluebird school and performing uh, at a great level was really exceptional. Uh, he played on one of the best high school teams I've seen in the last 20 years. Uh, he was the linchpin to that group. Uh, so, I mean, the last few years he's he's been under the gun and um, he'll be ready to come in and, and handle all that comes with it. But uh, like I said, he, he, he's a piece of the puzzle. We're not expecting him to come in and uh, move the world and uh, take us uh, any further than our team can take us right now. But we're excited to add him to the group. Uh, but more importantly, I'm, I'm very confident he can handle uh, what's going to come his way uh, with being the number one selection. Uh, real quick, and then I gotta go to the Zoom. Um, you've seen Cade embrace the city so much already. Did you get a sense that he would embrace it as quickly as he did in the meetings that you had with him? 
Um, yes. I mean, he, he's that, this one, he's sharp. He's smart. He understands his audience. He understands, uh, he has to be where his feet are. Um, and that, you know, like I said, is a very sharp young man. Um, he understands uh, what Detroit Pistons are all about uh, in the past. And like I said, we're trying to uh, restore that and he really gets it. So, you know, he, he's very aware. Josh, we have uh, time for two questions from the Zoom crowd. Uh, go ahead and get those out. So if you wanna go ahead and use the raise your hand function, if you have a question, we'll get to a couple here. Uh, first, we'll go to Matt Derry. Hey, Troy, congratulations. Um, question about Cade playing in the Big 12. How, how much did you get to see him play in that league? It's obviously you got Baylor, Kansas. Does that help your decision making to see him against upper level competition like that? Yeah, absolutely. That's part of the evaluation. Uh, the league he played in competition, he played against very stiff competition and um, for a freshman, I mean, he exceeded, uh, I think what everybody thought he could do. Uh, but like, like you said, the competition in the big 12 was tremendous, uh, and them being able to, um, be at the top of that league and he be the, uh, the guiding force behind that, um, that really helped the evaluation for us. Now for the last question, we'll go to Stoney. Yeah, Troy, when uh, the, the time you spent with him, uh, was there something about him and this city? Because he seemed to, at the Tiger game and, and everything, even speaking tonight on, on ESPN, seemed to really incorporate what this city is all about. Did you sense that early on? And how much did that help you uh, in making that selection? Yeah, I mean, he, he came in and uh, we wanted to make sure that he um, got the feel of the city. We took him around and um, because if we're going to select him, uh, we wanted him to be comfortable with surroundings and understand what the city is all about and organization. Um, but no, I mean, that, that didn't really sway our decision because he, uh, has brought in, but it, I mean, it always helps, but, uh, he's very excited during the process to, uh, you know, thinking about, um, joining the city of Detroit and the Pistons organization. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Troy. All set. We're good. Thank you. Thank you so much you. for your time. Yeah, thank you. Oh, we'll be in.